Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Fan Mail Foods. Hope you're all doing well today. Now, before I get into the food of this episode, I just want to let you guys know, I know right now I am filming in the basement with the uh, kind of Egg Wars backdrop. That is not going to be my intention moving forward with the series. There's a lot of foods that I'm going to be looking at that are going to need to be cooked. That's not the case today. I have another snack food today. So um, it's gonna we're going to be up and around, but for right now, just this particular episode, we are still in the basement. So just want to uh, let you guys know that it will be changed up a little bit, but... All right, so what do we have today? Now, when I got this fan mail package and I got all these consumable items, you know, there was a lot of stuff that was coming from Asia and had a lot of Asian-inspired cuisine um, that came through, whether even just with the ramen noodles and stuff, there was a lot of Asian flair. And one thing I've noticed from these products, these Asian food products, is that there's a lot of these items that have a sort of seafood, fish, um, you, know, they, they, you know, it's not like America where everything's more like beef, chicken, and so on and so forth. They, over in these Asian products, there's a lot to do with seafood, shrimp, uh, fish, and things like that, which, to be honest with you guys, I've never been terribly crazy about seafood. Now, it's, I'll, I'll don't have any problem eating it for the most part, but it's not usually my first choice. But I'm going to try and not let my bias get in the way of any of these particular items that I am going to be trying. So what do we have today? On this episode, we have Mr. Squid's Spicy Baked Squid. Take a peek at the, uh, at the uh, cylinder here. It is non-fried, 80 grams in the container, crispy and fun. You know, So at least it's an Asian product, but they have the, uh, the American appeal down that... Whatever the food product is, it's fun. You want, I mean, look at this guy. This guy is very, very fun. You can see, I mean, he's looks like he, uh, he's, he's a fish, I think. I don't know, he's got, he's got fins, and I don't know, but so he's, or he's like his tentacles, and he's got sunglasses on, I don't know, he's got like the, the furrowed brow, he's, he's spinning around, uh, uh, whatever the case is. Um, so this is from Thailand, uh, from uh, Ch Cha, Cha Chong Sao, Thailand. Uh, I think that's how you uh, pronounce that. Manufactured by T Thai Snack Foods. And now one thing about this is that there's about three servings in this container, uh, just shy of three. Um, and there's very low fat, almost, you know, just a very, very small amount of fat and a pretty reasonable amount of protein, 12 grams of protein in a serving, which would be about one third of this container. However, what sort of uh, cripples it from being maybe a healthier choice than some foods is that there is quite a bit of sugar. In fact, 100% of the carbohydrates in this product are from sugar. 14 grams of sugar per serving, so that's quite a bit. And the ingredients is uh, squid, sugar, salt, chili, and seasoning, which is pretty much just chili, MSG, and soybean sauce. So, nothing to it but to do with my dudes. Let's go ahead and pop the top. It's like a big old giant soda can. All right, now let's go ahead and get a little smell here. <laughs> hmm, it's a very strange uh, smell here. Let me try and angle it in there so you can try and get a little view of how it looks inside. There's a little, uh, there's like this little wrapping inside there. This little white wrapping. So my first, my first immediate reaction, smell-wise, reminded me of like fish food. <laughs> but now there's almost like uh, it's weird. It smells like what I would think like cho like a chocolate smell almost, like a cocoa smell. I guess what I was, so maybe that's just the sugar, because that's kind of what I'm getting. Like you know, if you're if I was smelling a canister of cocoa powder, there's that there's some kind of similarity here in the aroma. I guess I'm gonna say that's probably has to do with the sugar. Let's take one out here. Take out a piece. Just a single piece. It's pretty dense. What the fuck? Hold on. What is going on down here? There's like, uh. Hold on. <laughs> There's something strange in this container. What is this? 
I don't know, there's uh, some sort of plastic piece that was just in there. I don't know if that was to... Looks like there's another one down there, I think. I can see a little bit of reflection in the light. I'm not sure if that's just to separate the pieces to try and hold the structure together a little bit more so it's not all crunch it, because I can tell like looks like there's some smaller flakes in there now after I remove that. Some smaller, more uh, more sensitive pieces. But we're going to go. I'm going to go ahead. I think this is the first piece I've pulled out. So you can kind of see it there. It's got like a little bit of like a stickiness to it almost. Now it's not sticky, but it's just very, very slight. You can kind of, there's a feel to it. Yeah, so now that I have a uh, little bit of singular piece, it's definitely a, uh, some more, yeah, you definitely have the, uh, the seafood smell going on, like I said. But there is sort of a, you get a little hint of the chili smell. But there's something, something very strangely cocoa-like about this. All right, well, I guess we'll see if there's a, how the flavor is, if I can place any particular flavor. Let's go in. Okay, I guess it's breaking apart. Fuck it, I'll take a... Mmm. Very, very strong uh, squid flavor. Mm. Okay. It was, it was very strong, sort of, that strong kind of fishy type flavor at first, but as I'm chewing on it, it, it is a little bit chewy. You know, it's baked, it's not fried, so it's not necessarily super crisp like that. Just kind of crisp enough, but the, um, the aftertaste has a very very noticeable chili flavor and um, it's not uncomfortably spicy actually the spice is almost perfect I would say like I said don't let my bias towards fishy flavored things throw you off because <laughs> I don't want to uh, I know my expression there was not necessarily one of love it's weird because it's like I'm still getting this. It must just be the sugar. It's got to just be the sugar that's giving it that sort of uh, that familiar <laughs> what I what I would associate with like a, a cocoa powder. It must just be the sugar because that time you know it was maybe the uh, the fishy flavor was not as pronounced on that second piece because uh, maybe it's it's a it's a pretty it's a very full heat. It's a very full spice. Then getting off of this, and it's actually pretty good. Like the first, I know that first bite it was like ooh, but now the second, and it's like uh, hmm. it's a very full mouth feel with the heat. It's not like uh, you know, it was it sort of had a little bit of a build up, but it's not like uh, it's not like a, a a mild to like a boom, you know, really shooting up and making you go like, you know, it's not like that. It's uh, it's sort of like it just sort of hit my taste buds and kind of slowly spread and sort of kind of like you know like like embers sort of getting that breath of air you know to kind of flare them up so the 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 spice is very very well measured in my opinion it's not too much and it's not too mild either So it's a very, uh, it's definitely a very different snack food. Um, it's crunchy, but it's got a little bit of chewiness to it. There's definitely that fishy flavor, that definitely that squid fishy flavor. If you if you like that, um, I'm not a huge fan. But the uh, the seasonings are some of the best. I well, I don't want to say the best flavor, but. The flavor is very good, though, I would say. I mean, with with the spices. As far as those are concerned, that's good. Um, so, how do I feel about the baked squid? Um, I'm not a huge fan 
Um, if you enjoy something that's got a fishy flavor like that, you might enjoy it more if you like something that's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's sort of, it's just very, <laughs> it's very uh, foreign, I guess. It's not exactly what I'm typically uh, looking into for a, for a snack food product. So um, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna give it a straight up five out of 10, probably just very average. Um, you know, it's it's not something I would care for very much, um, with with it being the fishy flavor and all. But it has its it has its perks, it has its benefits. Um, I'd say maybe maybe uh, yeah, I'll stick with a five for what it's for what it is. It's uh, it's not bad, but it's uh, not really my bag. <laughs> but uh, once again, thank you to the uh, lovely person who sent me all this stuff in the first place. I greatly appreciate it. We're gonna have the episode of Egg Wars coming out a little bit later tonight. Um, and otherwise, I'll see you guys next time on Fan Mail Foods. Take it easy.